stick around and I'm going to show you how you can get a pair of these Bose headphones for free. If you travel for business, but you work for a big company that has its own travel department, then this video is not for you. You can just stop watching right now. But if you're like me, a small business owner, or you work for a small company, and when you travel for business, you have to do all of your own travel planning, your booking, your changes, everything else, then you definitely want to watch this. So I found out about this company called Upside via, I think, a Facebook ad the first time, and I finally decided to try them out. And it turns out that it is a really, really awesome service. And so awesome, in fact, that I have partnered up with them so that I can tell you about them and also share with you a code so that you can get a free pair of Bose headphones. Or if you don't want the headphones, get $100 back. So let me explain, first of all, what this is. Upside is a company that essentially wants to be the travel agency for small businesses, people like me and people like you. If you have to book your own travel, you know how much of a hassle it can be. I mean, granted, these days it's gotten easier and easier. I've been doing this for decades and it is easier today than it's ever been. But when it comes down to it, you will spend a lot of time going through various websites, through your travel uh, flight websites, through your hotel websites, through car rental websites and everything else to try and find the best deals or at least the trips that work out best for you for what you're doing. And it takes time. And then, of course, if you have any changes while you're on the road, God forbid there's a flight cancellation or something like that happens, but even if just you just need to make a change, you have to change your flight plans, you want to change hotels, whatever it is, if you have to go through the website that you originally booked through or you have to go through the airline or hotel directly, it, it can be a pain. You can you know, end up spending a lot of time on hold, you're just dealing with a bunch of bureaucracy and yada yada. It's just, it's no fun. So if you had a travel agency that you could call and say, hey, here's the changes that I need, or even better, simply text them on your phone and say, this is what I need, get back to me when it's sorted out, that would be great. And that is exactly what Upside does. I'm gonna take you through the entire booking of a trip. I'm going to book a trip using Upside, and then I'm gonna look at the same itinerary using Google Flights and also using Hotels.com. So we can see that the prices are in fact the same and also just show you how much easier it is. So let's take a look. The website you're going to is Upside.com. And I'll point out that the first time you go there, you may actually get a pop-up offering you a free pair of these headphones. Obviously, you can go ahead and subscribe to that newsletter and get the code from them. But I would appreciate if you use my code just because, hey, you learned about it from here. So let's get back to it. I'm going to start by entering the promo code. And of course, I could do this at any time, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it in here now. And the code that you're looking for is Bose Photo Joseph. That's it. Just B-O-S-E Photo Joseph. Click on I agree and submit. And here you go. It says, welcome. You will receive your Bose SoundLink around ear wireless headphones too. After you purchase a trip valued at 600 or more. So yes, you do have to be purchasing a trip valued at 600 or more. But let's face it, that's not exactly hard to do, especially when you combine your hotel and your flights. Now, this code does expire on November 30th of 2017. So that means if you're watching this video after November 30th of 2017, you can't get the free headphones, but you can still get a free $100 gift card. Let me show you how that works. Let me just reload this page so we start all over again. And even if you don't want the headphones now, just maybe you already have a pair of headphones, you don't care, simply use the code PHOTOJOSEPH. That's it. Hit agree, hit submit. And here you'll see that you can get $100 in gift cards. And this expires, well, pretty much never. So what is this $100 gift card? What does that mean? Well, whenever you book a trip on Upside, money gets deposited into your gift card account. And then at any time you can go in there and say, I want a gift card. And you can choose from a whole bunch of stores, including Amazon, probably a lot of other places you shop, and choose a gift card from that. So it's a pretty good deal, pretty sweet. Okay, let's get back to it. I'm gonna go ahead and book a trip. And I wanna book a trip with a flight and a hotel. And you'll see it says right here, if you add a hotel room or, or a rental car, you'll save up to 20% more. So that's good. Let's go ahead and do the both. Now, I'm going to book a trip that I'm actually going on. Now, I already have my ticket, but we're going to look at another one. I'm going to fly out of Medford, my local tiny little airport, and I'm going to New York. So we'll go ahead and put in New York City, all airports. And the date that I'm traveling, let's see, I'm going to be flying out on the 6th and returning on the 8th. And it's just me. And that's it. Build your package. It'll ask if it's for personal or for work. And you can go ahead and use this if you're booking personal travel, but the company is really designed to help out the business traveler. Right away, I'm seeing some pretty good options here. Definitely a good price under $400 all the way from Medford. That's not too shabby at all. And at the top, it says sort by best for business. Now, if I'm just looking for the most economical fare, I can certainly switch this over and say, show me by lowest price. And I can get a little bit cheaper there, 351, or I can leave it at best for business. 
Best for business means it's looking at your departure times, your connections, and other things like that. It's not just about price. It's a combination of them. And honestly, this algorithm seems to be really good. Every time I've used this and looked at different pricing options, it seems like what it suggests for the best for business pretty much is the choice that I would have made. So this is a pretty early departure, 520 in the morning, maybe a little bit too early. Uh, let's see, for the same price, I can leave at 6 a.m. or 1040. I don't want to leave that late because I want to have time for dinner. So let's do this one. 6 a.m., connecting through SFO. Hmm, well, but that's a longer flight, and I'm not so sure that I really want to connect through San Francisco. Ooh, with a 42-minute connection time, that's too tight. Let's go for the earlier departure. One hour, not much longer, but Denver's easier to get through, so select that flight. On the returning flight, I want to spend the day there, so hmm, how late do I want to come back? Let's see here. Best flight is showing a 6 p.m. departure, midnight arrival, or 3.20 for a 9 p.m. arrival. Let's do that one. We'll go ahead and grab that, select that flight. And now I'm going to book a hotel. And hotels in New York are expensive. I do want to find something near where I'm going. I'm doing a presentation at B&H, so I'm going to type in B&H. There it is on top, B&H, New York. And it's going to find hotels nearby there. Again, one of the big, huge benefits here is that it's putting it all together into one place. It makes it really easy and really quick to find. And I'm going to have one layout of my credit card to purchase one itinerary instead of having to buy my flights and hotels and rental car and everything else separately. Not only, I'm not even going to do a car in this case, just the hotel and the flights. But it, as you can clearly see, it just makes the whole process a lot easier. Here's my B&H location where I'm going to be presenting. So let's see what my hotel options are. 700 a night. 500, oh my goodness, hotels in New York are so ridiculously expensive. So I can go through here and find, well, there's a cheap one, 190 travel in. No, no thanks, I want something better than that. Well, I guess, let's see, I saw something that was around 400 under, 400, there we go, Wyndham, New Yorker, let's see what that looks like. Well, looking pretty good, certainly looks like a nice enough place. I'll dig it, I take it, select and check out. From here, it tells me what I've saved, $15, not a huge amount, but it's better than nothing, but I earned this $100 gift card, excellent. So there's the total my gift card that I will get, and buy now, and off I go. Okay, I don't know how many of you are timing that, but that was pretty quick and easy. Now let's do the same thing looking at two separate websites. Not only are we going to be comparing the time, but also just the amount of effort, and of course, the cost. Can I actually get something cheaper going somewhere else? Let's find out. I'll create a new tab here and go to flights.google.com, which is where I pretty much did all of my booking before this. And we're gonna go from Medford to New York, and the dates again are December 6th through the 8th. Excellent. All right, right up, we see some pretty good options in here. There's the best flights option, 352, 352. So it's actually a little bit cheaper. So we're gonna have to find out what's going on there. Let's just go ahead and compare that same flight. We saw these cheaper ones on the other side as well. Didn't like those flights. So we're gonna go ahead and take the same one, 520 to 341. So let's grab that one. And then for that return flight, we'll grab the same one. The prices are all the same. So 320 to 904. There it is. And now it's telling me the price is 352. So that's actually cheaper. Well, let's find out why. Let's head over to United's website to buy our ticket. So now, of course, we're going to another website to do this. I'll go ahead and sign in. Here's that itinerary. Notice though this big old orange thing saying basic economy. Well, what is basic economy? Well, if I scroll down, I'll see the basic economy means I get no seat selection, uh, no carry on, uh, $25 per bag, $25 if I want to carry on a bag no refunds or changes, and I don't earn any qualifying miles. Now, I don't know about you, but if I'm gonna fly cross country, especially for business, I wanna earn points towards my elite qualifying status. I wanna make sure that I'm earning status on my airline. That's really important to me. Plus, I want a seat. I don't wanna get stuck in a middle seat from here to New York City, no thanks. So let's see what happens if we turn this off. Basic economy works for me. No, it does not. So let's go for economy, which adds $40 per person. So a $40 add-on to this ticket, and now we are at $391.60. So we are looking at the same price that we had on Upside. So I saved a lot of steps, didn't have to go through the process of deciding that I really don't want this super economy seat because that is no bueno for me. And now I've got the exact same price. Okay, well now let's take a look at hotels. Let's go ahead and open another tab and we'll go to hotels.com. And I am going to New York and it is going to be from December the 6th through the 8th. One room, one adult, and search. And let's see what we find. I do, again, want to narrow this down to where I will be. So let's see if I type in B&H on here. Is it going to find it? And no, it doesn't. So um, let's just see here. Quickly head over to Google Maps and find out the address for B&H. And let's see here. Uh, 
429th Avenue. All right, there we go. Let's just copy that and head back over to here, paste that in and search and see what we get. Okay, here we go. Fairfield Inn and Suites. I think that was on that list before, 449. Let's go ahead and open these up side by side, shall we? I found that Wyndham New Yorker Hotel. Let's see if I can find the same one in here. Got all these prices, these $400. 300 $400 night rooms, Midtown West Vacation Rentals. It doesn't sound like a proper hotel. There's that Wyndham New Yorker Hotel. The rate is showing a little bit cheaper at 389 It was 395 before, but let's go ahead and choose that room and see what other taxes are getting added to this. Let's go ahead and book that now. We can choose, let's see here, this is 389 Non-refundable, well, that's a little bit risky. I don't like that idea. So free cancellation, ah, 427. Okay, well, there you go. There it's up a little bit. Non-refundable, 405. Well, that's the one I want. I need to be able to cancel this. You never know what's going to happen. So we pay online now or pay at hotel. I'll pay at the hotel. So 427 a night. So we have 986, which now includes the taxes. Let's add in our flight as well. So let's see here. That is 986 plus the 391 for the flight. And we're looking at 1377. What was it over here on upside? It was 129471. So we have actually saved some money as well as saving time. And let's not forget that I'm also going to get a hundred dollar gift card out of this. So this has worked out pretty well. Again, if you've actually made it this far in the video and you're this interested in what it takes to book travel, then you know that every little bit of time that you can save in booking your travel matters. The headaches that go into all the different sites are a pain in the ass. It is so nice to be able to just go to one website, punch it in, get your rate, know that it's a good rate, get a $100 gift card, can't argue with that, or a free pair of Bose headphones, even better. And know that once and when something goes wrong, because it always does when you're traveling, you'll be able to either call them or text them directly and get this thing sorted out. And I can tell you, this is hand on heart personal experience. This trip that I'm talking about here, it actually didn't start as a trip to New York. I was first going to Indianapolis and that was it, just round trip. And I booked that trip on Upside. And then New York got added. So I had to call Upside and change it. Well, I just texted them on my phone. They responded and I told them what I needed. And they said, all right, give us a minute. And they came back a little bit later, during which time I'm not on hold on the phone. I can just do other stuff, do other work. They come back and say, hey, here's the options. Which flight works better for you? Do you want to go this time or that time? I said, choose that one. Here's the price. Perfect. Book it. Done. Then I had to change it again. I had to do a second change, adding another city to the trip. And it was exact same experience. Just super easy and clean and nice and simple to do. So that's all there is to it. It's just, it's a great service. I highly recommend it. If you're going to book with them and you want to get those free headphones, even though you don't have to, please use that code Bose Photo Joseph. Or if you just don't want the headphones or it's after November 30th of 2017, then use the code Photo Joseph to get yourself a hundred dollars gift card. If you do book a trip on Upside, let me know on social media. Just tag me on Twitter at Photo Joseph. Tell me that you booked on Upside and which promotion you took advantage of. And wherever you're going, I hope you have a great trip. Oh,